All right, we're going to concentrate on the back end now, which is exactly the same technique in terms of my posture, my point of contact, and my intentions. I want to make sure that I'm going under the ball again. And what you notice is, okay, there is very little wrist here, if not at all. My forearm travels just as much as my full arm, okay? So imagine you have a sword and you're trying to cut through a trunk, a tree trunk, okay? And making sure that everything happens above your hip. I usually say, imagine you're in a swimming pool and everything has to happen above the water line, okay? The water line being your hip. So if you notice that your racket head goes under, below your hip, you're drowning, okay? You're drowning your racket. So nothing needs to happen below the water line, okay? Everything needs to happen above the water line. Like you're throwing rocks on the water and the most that it can do is skip, okay? That's what you want to do, all right? So to the back end side. Perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. Again, let me take that one out. One mistake. Beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. All right. And what you notice also with my footwork is I'm using a walking step. What you notice with my forehand is I'm, what you notice in, with my swing is I'm using a walking step. Okay? Walking, contact. Okay, walking, contact. Walking, contact. What I like to do with my backhand volley is I like to have my non hitting hand at the same height as where I want to make contact with my ball. Okay? So even though it's behind me, it still gives me a reference point that I use to measure my shot. Left hand behind, I'm going to make contact right here. So my left hand is at exactly the same height. Boom. Okay? That prevents me from dipping my racket below the water line and it forces me to keep a straight line to my point of contact. Okay? Go ahead. All right, again. There. Excellent. Come on. All right, a little bit lower, so I have to bend. That's it. Okay. See, I'm keeping, I'm keeping my hips exactly where they need to be, so that my racket head does not go below the water line. Again. Excellent. Come on. Again. Perfect. All right. Keep in mind again, it's not about being perfect with the sweet spotter. It's just making sure that as you're striking, that you understand what you need to do to hit the perfect shot with your racket.